because you would say, well, if you think that women and men are equal, then get on the battlefield with them. But I think that men also love to uphold the idea that part of the gender expectations that are held upon them is that they are the protectors and they are physically stronger. And so if you're physically stronger and you want to protect me, then go do it. Well, what if a man doesn't want to be drafted? That doesn't really change the fact that in the event of a draft, he would be drafted. Can I ask something? What's up? I don't know the historics of it. Like, how is that? How did it come to be? What do you mean? Like, drafting people. and it, like, Okay, I mean, I think I could take a crack at this, but <laughs> I mean, throughout all human history, different tribes warred with each other. And if you were a man and you were able-bodied, they would put a spear in your hand and say, you're going to defend the tribe, otherwise they're going to take our land, they're going to take our women, they're going to commit atrocities against our civilian population. So I would imagine it just goes way back into human history of there's warring tribes, there's different... Uh, there's different well, I would actually um, even go a step further and just grant, I think, what you're angling at, um, which is I think the patriarchy brought us the draft. Yeah, exactly. That it was a system of patriarchy which brought us the draft uh, here in the United States. 